Well, there's a workshop. Um, I found it on Facebook. They said, uh, make a box and see what, uh, see what we could use. I saw the, I had a bunch of tools that we sell at the flea market fairly well. But, always could use the magnetic screwdrivers for taking apart scrap. Mm, little screwdriver uh, set. This is nice here. All right. Tar paper. Man, it is dark. Let's see if we can turn on a light. Yep, does have light. Lots of light bulbs. Stuff. Little rasps, sandpaper, but I think what we'll do is we'll always seem to sell these chisels really well. This one has the name on it there, but can't quite make it out. Some of the needle nose vice grips. Those also sell fairly well. Craftsman. A little SK socket. Brush. And I don't really need that adjustable wrench. Mm -hmm. I always like these uh, long hole. Like it makes a. They definitely drill um, three quarter inch hole through a long board. Another whole little tap and die set. <sighs> Look like jeweler's tools. that one is but it's odd router bits nice pair of and yeah, they they don't shut at the tip they get to get uh, find some trash today Definitely seem like a good trash picking day. I have so many drill bits, but we'll see. I don't see anything in there. I always like these little socket sets. Let's see if that has all the pieces. I don't know how to say it, but looks good. OK. 
can sell that right there, the, the nice vise, if they'll let, if they'll let that go. Hold a nice little mess of drill bits. I have some newer ones here. Oh no, that's a label maker. I thought this is probably drill bits. And then more uh, screwdriver. Hmm. Do miss selling at the flea market. All this stuff used to just fly at the flea market. I probably uh, have sold a couple thousand dollars worth of um, wrenches and stuff last uh, last summer. I actually use this bin. Makes a little bit more sense. Like a little square. I do like the magnet bars on these just for using at the workshop. A little riveter. Pencil sharpener. Chainsaw blades. 16 inch. I, think I, I don't know if that will fit mine, but if not, it will fit my friends and I'll just trade them. Drill bits. All right. I think that's it. We're going to find out how much they want on this uh, vice. Let's look in these two old boxes. all electrical. Feels like there's something in it. Oh, there's a little, little light bar that would attach to your truck. It's kind of fun. I don't need it though. sealer. Nice wood clamps. Nice garden trowels. I have so many of them though. These pruners look uh, like they would do the job and actually could always use uh, this is good for hitting in fence posts well I'm starting to get a nice pile together I'll put it all right here that stuff. Probably could use a couple of the um, ratchet straps. Lots of hardware. Little 
packs. These are nice. For uh got a nice roof. Hardware. Old trunk hinges, or I guess those are barn hinges. Let's see what's in this thing. Yeah, it looks like weather stripping and stuff. Master Lock has the key. something. I'm not sure. Definitely different. Always like these corners. I picked a few out of the trash the other day. Seems like we found a, a good amount of things. I'm gonna grab a couple of those small drill bits that I know I could use. Shame this one has epoxy in the hole, but definitely good for taking uh, apart the computers. They made it by anybody special? No. Believe it or not, mine is not working well. Could always use these for the trailer. That's my box. She said she didn't have a problem selling any of this. Um, the one thing I did see was up here, a boat motor uh, gas tank. Those always uh, sell pretty good. And I don't really need the bandsaw stuff. But I have to go take off the she said I she said they didn't want it, so I looks like the thing I'm going to uh, try to rescue out of here. Oh, I missed that. Is it metal? No, it's plastic, but. The organizers always I just have to come up with she said just come up with a price for my pile so I don't know I know I can get a 
easy fifty dollars for this nice uh nice vice. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think we're gonna try to get everything for sixty and uh negotiate from there. Alright, I'm gonna keep on making my pile. Getting the vice off. has a name in, on it. I just can't quite read it. But it's definitely uh, definitely finding some things. I actually missed these. I saw the paintbrushes, but I didn't see the tarps themselves. I used to be able to sell those really well. Um, people would buy this the paint splattered tarps, but I think I might actually scoop wire brush too. Barely used. I could probably still sell this splattered one at the bottom pretty well. All right, I'm starting to make a nice pile. Put it right outside the tarps. That with our tools. I don't think there's anything else I'm really, really missing. I think I should check underneath and make sure there is. So, made it back home. Definitely did pretty good. Um, I spent 75 altogether. Uh, first cool thing that I didn't show was this uh, pump. Uh, definitely, I don't know. I figure that's a $25 bill at the flea market. I did get a bunch of uh, chain oil for the chainsaw. Uh, we did get the big vise. Figured I'm gonna lay out the tools. We'll see what we got in the tools. Uh, oh yeah, this box was actually pretty cool. I ended up uh, getting, one second, put you there. Figure we, I'll just lay out all the tools here, but I did get the nice rivet tool, the set of uh, drill bits. I grabbed some of the saw stuff for the sawzalls for wood. Little uh, brackets, square. That was a nice. Uh, socket set. I think this guy's pretty uh, everything had a nice layer of sawdust. It's a vintage uh, vintage sharpening stone. I think it says car carbon or something. I have to clean that off with a brush. But Seems like it's a nice, fine sharpening stone, but this one was the better one. It's a in a wood box. It's got the name there. Definitely, uh, definitely is a nice little stone. I've done fairly well with uh, stones that have the original label on eBay. So hopefully. Hopefully one of those two end up bringing more than 20 bucks. Two more drill bits. Definitely, uh, I like this jeweler's tool here. I'm gonna put that with my uh, jewelry supplies. Uh, definitely can make like a nice little uh, wrap with that. It's for bending wire or wire wrapping chisel. Figured since it's so nice and windy, 
Um, it's a good time to get rid of all the all the sawdust. But that's just one little box, and I got uh, two two more tubs full of tools. Definitely was. Uh, she threw in the batteries. Oh, I forgot to show you these. This uh, this pair of antique uh, harness for the carriage. Thought that was pretty cool. Nice thing is they're matching. Um, did get the Stanley hammers. I showed you guys. I showed you most of the stuff in this. I have to go get that purple toad out. That's the only other thing I don't think you guys saw. I'm just very, very happy with all the little buffalo carved out of wood. Always could use electrical tape. Did get the little chainsaw blades and found a chainsaw that was hidden underneath one of the containers. I didn't see if it, I didn't test it to see if it worked, but I think it does. It's just a little home light, but. Yeah, it has nice compression. It'll start up real fast. Nice little, uh, nice little saw. Uh, what else did I get? All right, I'm gonna grab this. Uh, this tote and I'll show you what what's inside that the nice thing was the lady was so happy that I made such a nice large pile because she really just wanted to clean out the garage it was all of her father's stuff so definitely uh, definitely made her day that I made such a big pile of uh, tools she didn't really uh, it was just one of those deals where they wanted to get rid of everything bunch of little screwdrivers in this kind of like the little organi organize uh, organizer more little bits a bunch of punches always could use these and all this stuff sells really well at the flea market some aluminum this wrap works really good if you ever have to move uh, chests of drawers. I'll probably save that for me instead of trying to sell it. Some rustoleum. I did end up getting the big brackets. I've pulled a few things out of the trash. Ended up getting those bolts and the large uh, ratchet straps. So I don't think there was anything else really great in there. Some butcher block wax. Always need these little hooks for something. Put them in my uh, little uh, toolbox. The book thing. Oh, these were nice too. I didn't show you them. I got a nice pair of uh, crowbars, but they're nice large ones. I always like the straight one. I seem to use this a lot. I haven't gotten to break open up any safes recently, but... All right, I guess that was it. For 75 bucks, uh, it was definitely a fun Craigslist uh, Craigslist hit. I wish uh, wish there was more of those out there, but should do very well at the flea market with all this stuff. Probably will keep this set at the workshop. All right. If you guys haven't yet, uh, I don't know, reach out to somebody who might be alone. Uh, 
it's definitely a trying time right now and uh, hopefully everybody's safe thank you very very much for watching uh, again never know what you're gonna find so everybody see you, see you later peace I think I'm gonna put this on eBay today see how that does the one with the wooden box I don't know if there's any other eBay items most of it's all really good flea market stuff. Need that for the trailer.